what's up? This is Rockland. Today on Passport Kings, top travel secrets to get you upgrades and everything else you need from the airlines. Engage. All right. So everyone who has booked through Passport Kings recently realized that we could give them great prices on the hotels and the excursions. But with the airlines, we was at the mercy of the airline prices. I mean, because we're at the mercy of the airlines. They never really give a commission when it comes to selling their tickets. So everyone's best bet was to either buy their flight tickets from the airline or as part of their vacation package that they get online. Yeah, on one of my recent shows called Tips and Tricks to Travel Cheap, I explained how going down to the airport and buying tickets in person could save you a, a decent amount of money with certain airlines. But today, I'm letting you in on a secret that, ha that I've been using for years to help me keep my airline prices down to as low as humanly possible. Yo, I travel first class every time I have a really long trip, and I can attribute that to an awesome book that I invested in years ago. Back then, that book cost a lot more money, plus they didn't give all the free gifts that they're giving to you now when you get one. As a matter of fact, I didn't get any of the free gifts. I need to call somebody about that. But anyway, the book is called Top Travel Secrets, and the subtitle is Discover What the Airlines Won't Tell You. The information in it is worth its weight in gold. But like I said, they're also giving away some super free gifts when you just check it out. If you spend more than 300 a year on air travel, I know I do, you will learn how to save well over the price of that ebook for years to come. I know I have been. In that book, you're going to learn about loyalty program loopholes, how to earn tens of thousands of miles even if you don't travel that much, and you're going to get master winning practical strategies to pay much less for your air travel. Yeah, I can't remember the guy's name who wrote the book, but it's over 70 pages of awesome information. I know that this is information that I would have never known if I never picked up that book. In this book, you're going to learn how to upgrade to first class and business class, one of my favorite things to do. When a flight is canceled or overbooked, you're gonna learn what to say and who to say it to in order to get hundreds of dollars in free tickets over and over again. You're gonna learn about consolidators and air carriers. You're gonna learn how to benefit from their world and how to fly round trip coast to coast for little to nothing. Another thing I use a lot, you're gonna learn how to buy standby tickets. And it's gonna be at a ridiculous fraction of the cost of a full fare price. You're gonna get strategies of learning how to get the cheapest fares out of the hundreds of fares available. You're gonna learn how to get the stopovers for free. Of course, you're gonna learn how to get the best seats in the house. It's gonna go over everything about mileage programs and two little known secrets to get more miles. You're gonna learn how to position yourself to get maximum compensation. And we've all heard that loudspeaker announcement when they're asking for volunteers to give up your seat on the plane. Well, you're gonna learn how that works and what the ticket agent is not telling you. And you're also gonna learn how to maximize the vouchers, the meal vouchers that they give you, that they offer you. And if you wanna get stranded, and if you ever get stranded, like I have before, which is no big deal, but you'll learn how to get the best hotel and how to wine and dine at the air carrier's expense. Another important thing you'll learn about is what if you get denied boarding? Another good thing that will be discussed is if the airline loses your luggage or it takes too long to get there, how you could get some excellent compensations for that. And one of the most awesome additions to this book, you're gonna learn how to write complaint letters that's gonna maximize your issue, and you'll get an effective sample letter that's gonna win every time, and you're gonna know exactly what to say, so they are gonna wanna do exactly what you want them to do to make up for the problem that you have with the air carrier. So what I want you to do is click the link below. It's in my sponsor section right under the description of this video. And I'm telling you, that book will change a traveler's life. Like I said, Passport Kings, we can take care of the excursions and we can take care of the great hotel prices and the, um, the rental car prices. But those flights, they're pretty unmovable. But with this book and having this sort of ammunition inside your 
backpack, you never lose again with your airline prices. Alright, so like I said, I was going to make my uh, episodes a lot quicker these days than they used to be because I know I was looking at like the, I was looking at the retention level and I realized that people in most videos, they, they want to just come in and get some information and go. So I didn't want to make it as long as I've been making them. Sometimes I go off on a tangent and then I start it start going on and on about a certain issue because it's really dear to my heart being that I love travel so much. But like I said, and like I always say, if you have anything to add to this topic or about traveling in general, leave a comment below. I always answer those. Let's keep this conversation going. Do you know any tips and tricks to get better prices on the airline? Leave it below. We can discuss it. We can have a nice long discussion about it and everyone can mastermind this information together and we might learn even more just on a group level. But that'll wrap up this episode of Passport Kings. You know what I want you to do. Go to www.passportkings.com, sign up to my mailing list so you can get all of the new information that I get about traveling. I love to share it with you. If you've been following my Facebook page, then you know that I've been traveling around the country a lot. A lot of people are saying, oh, I spend so much time out of the country that I should see what's going on right around me and I have been doing that a lot lately so go to my Facebook page you can see all the pictures of me coming going from state to state north to west I mean over the past few days I've been I've been to about <laughs> maybe uh, maybe let me see it, it has to be about nine cities I've been to within June July and August so if you want to see some pictures of me having a good time out there uh, go to my Facebook page, you know where it is, it's facebook.com slash passportrock or facebook.com slash passportkings and that's my, my regular page. Also I want y'all to go to my group, my group is BM Travel, there's a link below and you'll be able to keep up and add to the conversation just like you can do on my YouTube videos. Follow me on Twitter, you know it's only 140 characters so I might blurt out some information here and there and it's always good information. I, I really try my best to not load your phone uh, notifications up with a bunch of crap like a lot of people do. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to send you valuable information that you can use. As you know, if you're on my mailing list, you'll get updates of all the events that I find that are um, entertaining that's going on around the country and out of the country. So sign up there and you can keep up to date with some excellent travel adventures that you can join too. But just remember my website, that's www.passportkings.com. I want y'all to come now, join the mailing list, and check out all the rest of the information that I have there. Plus on my second page, I know a lot of people asking me about luggage and things. I, I have like a whole list of the, the most excellent luggage that you can purchase online. And it's right there, it's all jumbled up in one big screen. So you can see all the best things that I recommend as a Passport King that'll keep your belongings safe while you're out and about. And one last thing, one last thing, don't sit in the back when you're on a long flight. You want to stretch your legs out, you want to pull your computer out, you want some armrest room. Don't sit in the back. Sit in the front like a king, a passport king. I'll see y'all again again this week. Peace. And another thing I use a lot, you're going to learn how to fuck if you spend more than 300 a year on ad then I would have never known if I'd ever if I'd been 300 a year on ad I know this is information that I would